Hey guys, it's Jay here. Today's date is the 8th of the 9th, 2015, and I am one week off being five months on tea. Uh, today I'm going to have a chat about the change of male pronouns and my struggle with changing what toilets I'm using. So, all of you guys that have been following me, you know my one of my biggest issues have been changing toilets at work. It's been um, quite daunting for me. I'm, and I'm guessing it's due to like, for so long, growing up as a female and always having to use women's bathrooms. And every time I went in there, I'd always get mistaken for a guy and be told, oh, you're in the wrong toilet, you know, da 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 da, as most trans men would have gone through in their past. And you probably still do now if you're pre-T and you're using women's toilets. So, um, I, um, I did talk to my supervisor on Friday and told him as of this week, I'll be using the men's toilets. Now, I think the biggest thing with this is it's my own fear that is stopping me from using the men's toilets. Everybody at work now knows I'm trans. There's no dramas. The guys don't care if I'm in their toilets. They, they really don't give a shit. It's just me trying to find my feet in something that's totally new to me. So, um, like I said, because you're so used to feeling out of place in toilets, using the men's toilets, I still feel a little bit out of place, but I feel I have a lot better using those toilets than I do using the women's toilets. So, I started wearing my peacock to work on Sunday and Monday, and I used the men's toilets the whole day. I still went when everybody was at work, so I wasn't in there with anybody else. It's a slow process for me. It's really like, day by day, my biggest thing is the concern of making other people uncomfortable or saying to me, what are you doing here, Jay? Because a very small majority of people at work don't know I'm trans still because of their religious beliefs and cultures. So I was still kind of like bouncing between the chicks' toilets some days and the men's toilets and other days purely to make other people comfortable. But then I realised um, I'm making myself uncomfortable for the sake of others and it's just not rolling anymore. Also, a few times that I have used the women's toilets in the last two weeks, the girls have said to me, you're on the wrong toilet. So, obviously, I'm passing way more as male now than when I was about three or four weeks ago. So, that's really cool. So, I just wear my packer to work and I have been using the men's toilets and it's been really good. Um, I'm feeling good about it. I'm feeling confident day by day. Uh, I went to the gym today and I had to go, so... I use the men's toilets, and there's no, nothing, it's so different, like, it, it is so different in the men's toilets to what it is in a women's toilet, so, <laughs> this is probably like the women's code, but I'm going to say it anyway, so, when you're using the women's toilets, you know, it's where all the girls go to gossip, <laughs> gossip about what? Other women, of course, about what they're wearing, how much weight they've put on, how bad their makeup is. Chit chat, chit chat, chit chat, chit chat. Like little seagulls, you know. <laughs> so that's what women's toilets are about. Women go to the toilet together and they talk. They talk while they pee. They talk while they wash their hands. They talk while they fix up their hair. And they bitch about other people. <laughs> it's like, I mean, and honestly, I used to do it too, okay? So. I'm no better than anybody else. And then going to the men's toilets, you use the men's toilets and there was no talking. Not even eye contact. Nothing. So for those who are starting to use the men's toilets, just walk in there, take a piss, and walk out. Don't talk, okay, because apparently it's just not what you do. So it's totally different to using women's toilets. Um... But I'm feeling pretty good about it. So I went to the gym today and I used the men's toilets, walked out, not even a second look. Um, wore my packer to the gym today for the first time as well, just a soft packer, not my peacock, just to fill the void. I was really concerned that it was going to fall out. Um, I did do arms, I didn't do legs, so I just wore a jock strap and then my normal briefs over the top and it was it was fine, no dramas. And it was quite cool to look in the mirror and this is all you know, small bulge, and it just, it made me feel like I passed better by having a packer there, and you know what, everyone's different, but for me, it definitely gives me more confidence, um, so yeah, toilets, I'm slowly but surely 
getting over my fear with it. I've got some close mates at work that are really supportive, that are backing me up. And, you know, my supervisor knows and he said, if there's any dramas, you just come and see me, mate, and we'll sort it out for you. So, pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I'm also finding in this last week, male pronouns. Wah! I ain't getting them a hell of a lot more than I was two weeks ago. So, I'm feeling pretty fucking good. When I go out, it's mate, not miss or lovely or, you know. So, I'm definitely getting taken for a boy, which is the whole idea of being on hormones. Um, I made a phone call last week to my mechanic about my ute. And they thought they're talking to somebody else because I sounded so different to what I did six months ago. And I had to tell them that I was trans. And, like, that was so cool, man. It's funny, like, mechanics. You see them, like, twice a year, but they're like family, if you've got a good mechanic. Um, so, you know, I went in there today, and everything was, like, hunky-dory, no questions, no dramas. Um, so I'm feeling awesome. I also noticed that my voice is really starting to take effect. It is really starting to drop week by week. And I love it. It's weird because you kind of, you know, when you're thinking, you think in your voice. And so I don't know if this makes sense, but when I'm thinking, I'm still kind of thinking in the voice that I was pre T, like a little bit more high pitched. And then when I speak, it comes out totally different. And it's mind blowing how different I sound compared to how I even sounded four weeks ago. So, um, the testosterone is just like taking hold. It's awesome. Uh, the hair in my stomach is is coming through nicely. It's still not thick enough to show you guys. It's still like very fine black baby hair, but um, it's all starting to blend. You can't see where your pubic line starts and stops, which is kind of cool. You just you know remember what I spoke about manscaping. Keep it up. Don't stop. Um, so that's kind of cool to look down, and you know it's all starting to blend in. Um, Leg hair is still coming along nicely, just the thighs are starting to fill out now, that's taking a bit longer. But um, yeah, I just really wanted to talk about the toilet thing mainly today and how I'm progressing with that because that is one of my biggest hurdles about being trans is the changing of the bathrooms. Um, for some reason it just, it's hard for me, I don't know, um, but like I said before, I purely think it's because for the last 30 years of my life, I definitely felt like I didn't belong in the toilets and toilets have always made me so uncomfortable. Um, you get to that point where you know, you start watching the entry of the toilet and you kind of can tell it's empty and that's when you use them. It's at that point, and it still is now with the men's toilets and the girls' toilets, I still kind of watch to make sure there's nobody in there and then I go. But I'm sure by the time I make the next video in another two weeks or three weeks, whatever, that I would have passed this point and I'll be comfortably using the men's toilets. Um, men's toilets are dirty. Women's toilets are dirty. Just in different ways. Um, men's toilet definitely smells like piss a lot more, but of course I do because some dickhead invented the urinal, which I don't understand. I, don't, I think men need privacy just as much as women when it comes to taking a pee. Stupid invention, but um, yeah, I am just wanted to touch base on that and let you know that that's all going pretty well. Um, but yeah, just another short video, just a quick catch up, not much to report. Um, I hope you're all doing well and everyone else that out there that is transitioning is is doing well and I hope you're making blogs to keep track of it because it's really good for you to do that. It's really good to look back to where I was five months ago and see where I'm sitting now. It, it fucking blows your mind out, but it's pretty cool. Alright, well, that's all I'm going to talk about. I'm trying to keep these videos to under 10 minutes because otherwise it just drags on. Um, I will be doing a review on Packers in the next couple of days. I have a couple of new ones that I want to cross over with. I've got a new Peacock arriving tomorrow, the, the Gen 2, oh sorry, the Gen 3S is arriving. So I'll compare that against my um, Gen 2, which is totally different look-wise and everything. But I've got to wear it first, see how it goes, and then I'll do a review. All right. Uh, stay safe, and thank you for watching. Bye. Bye. Bye.